Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to talk about variation of the acceleration due to gravity with respect to the depth. Let us consider the earth because all the gravitational force on us is due to that of the earth. Let us assume the entire mass of the earth is focused at the center of the earth. If I keep a body of mass m on the surface of the earth, between them there is a gravitational force. The distance between them is nothing but the radius of the earth itself. Now we want to go to a particular place. We are now going to a height or to a depth h. If I keep the same body here of mass small m, what is the gravitational force of the entire mass of the earth on it? One thing that you might have noticed is when the particle is on the surface here, this entire earth mass attracts it towards the center. But if I keep the particle say for example here if I keep the particle here, now the mass above it cannot attract it towards the center because the gravitational force is always towards the center. So which mass will attract it? The mass, the remaining that is there towards the center that I am marking with red only can attract it. So in these two cases, the mass that is influencing the another mass due to the gravitation is variable. So, you know, acceleration due to gravity in terms of uh, mass of the earth is gm by r square. But this m of the earth is variable in this case because we are going into the earth where the remaining mass that is there towards the center is only influencing the gravitational force. So, I can rewrite that mass using a formula. Density of the earth is any density is in fact mass by volume assuming density as rho mass as capital m and assuming the earth approximately spherical volume of a sphere is 4 by 3 pi r pi r cube so i can write mass of the earth as density into 4 by 3 pi r cube Using this relation, in this case, acceleration due to gravity is G in the place of capital M, rho, 4 by 3, by R cube, by R square. So this R square and on R square can be cancelled. So the remaining relation is G equal to 4 by 3, pi, G, rho, and R. This is the equation that I need to use when we are going into the earth to a certain depth. I cannot use this relation because m is variable. That implies, I will say now that on the surface of the earth, that means when the small particle is on the surface, gravity on that due to the earth is 4 by 3 pi g rho r at a depth h from the surface when you say h from the surface it happens like distance from the center for the new position of the particle will become automatically r minus h this distance becomes r minus h acceleration due to gravity 4 by 3 pi remains same g remains same rho remains same but the distance becomes r by h dividing these two equations g dash by g equal to everything else gets cancels other than this r minus h and r that is 1 minus h by r 
is g dash by g is g dash equal to 1 minus h by r into g this is how the acceleration due to gravity is supposed to vary with respect to the depth if you have noticed with respect to the height that is 1 minus 2 h by r that means the value of the g falls more quickly when you go above the earth than when you go into the earth it is a little slow that how it decreases when we are going into the earth when compared with the way that you are going above the earth that's it thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you